so why <laughs> is so the little Rob coming back or like what why it's, did you pick him he's coming back for sure um <laughs> dude the reason behind it is simply because this meta is so cheesy i gotta play rob uh you know i have a rob i, I even beat in like like good people with rob i guess my best win is proto how do you lose my rob bro? <laughs> <laughs> This past weekend, La Posada del Huatiki 2023 went down in Mexico. And yes, I do preemptively apologize for any bad pronunciations I make throughout this video. I took German in high school, not Spanish. Either way, the tournament featured lots of top talent from Mexico, and most notably had MK Leo, the overall GOAT of Smash Bros. Ultimate. And yes, there's a difference between greatest right now and greatest of all time. Quite a big one, actually. MK Leo entered the tournament as the first seed, and while you may have expected this to just be a normal romp with Joker or Byleth, with maybe a Marth if he had to fight a Mario, MK Leo had other plans. You see, at Watch the Throne, MK Leo was asked by the commentators what his character pool would be going forward. After all, it's probably the thing about MK Leo that causes the most discussion among the community. MK Leo responded with something fairly interesting. He said he'd stay a Joker main, which makes sense, but then went on to mention that he'd be making Rob his official secondary. Leo then listed off a few other characters, saying how he thinks he'll keep his Aegis, but that Byleth has fallen off in the meta, and Corrin is only good if you solo main her, but no one was paying attention to that anymore. Rob? Was he serious? Well, in Loser's Eighths of that very tournament, Leo brought out the Rob versus Ken and almost managed to take the set with him, with a critical side B miss costing Leo the set. But the Rob was cooking, and Leo would later go on to Goat Talks, Luminosity's podcast, and talk about his Rob. That's the clip I played at the start of this video, where Leo went over his Rob's history. And indeed, it didn't just come out of nowhere, with its first appearance being at Double Down 2022, where Leo managed to take a set off of Proto with it, but lost in the reset. And this isn't just any player. This was Proto during his Double Down and Smash Summit 5 victories, a span of time where Proto felt like the greatest player in the world, even if it was just for a short time. But after that, the Rob remained dormant, until now. Like you may have been able to guess, MK Leo not only went Rob at La Posada, Leo went solo Rob. Through thick and thin, it was Rob, Rob, Rob. Today we'll be going over MK Leo's run at La Posada, seeing how this Rob did and highlighting it with montages everywhere we can. Without further ado, let's get things started. As I mentioned before, MK Leo came into the event as the first seed, starting in pool A1. He first went up against Pikachu main DRK9 and in the end won the set in a 3-0. Next, MK Leo had to fight Duck Hunt main Ohms and just like the set before it, won in a 3-0 versus Ohms, making it out of pools flawlessly and headed into top 32. These two sets versus DRK9 and Ohms, by the way, are the only two sets of MK Leo's entire bracket run that wasn't streamed, so rest easy as we'll have VODs for every other opponent. Speaking of opponents, MK Leo's next one would pose an interesting challenge. MK Leo had to go up versus Junko. No, not that one. This one, the Mexico Bayonetta main. Now, if you didn't know, Rob Bayo is really bad for Rob. Some would even consider it Rob's worst matchup, worse than even Mr. Game & Watch. Even Rob's top rep, Zamba, has suffered upsets at the hands of Bayonetta mains like Mar, who, ironically enough for this video, is from Mexico. Now, trying to use your rusty pocket Rob in a tournament is one thing, but when you run into their worst matchup, many people would have just called it right there. No one would blame MKLeo for swapping over to Joker for just one set before going back to Rob for the rest of them. But Leo didn't do that. He was with Rob through thick and thin, determined to win the unwinnable. Would he? Let's see for ourselves. Lo 
salir al aire. Mientras tanto, una vez más, la presión con ese hombre va a estar Dios. Claro que sí, las manitas del robot. Y hemos que... ¿Alcanzaste a llevar? De todas maneras, el mundo sale con algo de vida, pero alcanza a salir. Así que va prometiendo de los suyo. Uno first que se ven a hacer con meteoroides, pero para eso se nos va, se nos va de eso. Efectivamente, no nos vuelan que vemos el 1 a 1. Invencibilidad le perdonó la vida, se estaba subiendo apenas y se vio, no sé si fue suerte, no sé si fue algo de verdad muy esperado por Leo, pero mira, todo el evento no lo sube, inclusive llevándoselo el primero, gracias a eso. Es más, con el fuego Artir, se ve bastante curioso como el rock nomás le pega como una cachetada a la bayoneta, viendo el porcentaje poquito a poquito, el Oxman por parte de Leo Fortuno se cubrió bastante bien, nomás la buena bayoneta de aquí Leo está intentando ver la manera ya de poder finiquitar la última esto muy logra hacerle ese que se re y nos vamos para arriba con ese hombre claro que sí lo casó bastante zafa bastante bien pero el side que logra punishar el recovery por parte de Junto una vez más aquí uy Desafortunado, no es juego aéreo que lo sube hasta 57 por ciento y una vez más arrancamos que fue yo estoy diciendo, pues todavía nos arrancamos. Parece que esto ya se nos está aproximando a la recta final. Ese es el pollito de este señor. Y todavía teniendo algo más por ahí para hacer de la suya. Exactamente, Fran, después de siempre tengo unas bajo la mano. No, no, no. Apenas estamos diciendo. And in the end, MK Leo defeated Junko 3-1, moving into winner's quarterfinals. Leo's opponent here would be the Ridley hero co-main, Nair, who had just defeated Kazuya main Arkel to make it here. MK Leo, throughout this tournament, was put through many different challenges to overcome. He had already defeated his worst matchup, but now it was time to see how MK Leo would fare against an established top player in Mexico. Without further ado, let's see for ourselves. Perdón, soy yo, yo soy mala influencia para la infancia. Creo que también lo ya traemos azulitos encima, la neta. A mí sí me pegó unas comichelas. Papá, tus hijos vuelan, en tu caso tus hijos bajan, güey. Está jugando chido. Sí. Está jugando chido. Está jugando muy bien. Nerd, eh, no sé si está grandeando en secreto. O el otro, el otro, tan perro como que es el de Nerd. Vamos a ver aquí, ¿será? ¿Será que sí se alcanza a ir? El doble salto y se nos va. Leo en pareja, saca a su amigo. Leo muy paciente, lo persigue con el techo y... Con esto se lo puede robar, gran trabajo, el de supervivencia de Ridley, sin embargo, Vince Repeat, repite y enjuague, y con eso Leo logra llevarse el movimiento. Sí, aparte de esto, tiene un factor de adaptación que es mega eficiente. Es sí, ¿no? eh, realmente es un reto, es un reto, es un reto, salen ahí. ¡Oh, oh, 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 oh! ¿Alguien quiere Ridley carbonizado? ¿Es Rob? Mucha gente dice que, oh. que Rob es el DLC original, y sí. pues, a un DLC no estuviera muerto de eso, la neta, pero... <risa> La, la verdad claro es que, que sí. No, nah, no se hubiera muerto de eso. Pero la verdad sí hay alguien que te, sí tengo que mandarle saludos ahorita que andan, que andan ahorita. ¡Oh, oh, oh, oh! ¡Qué perro! Ah, eso se lo dedicó el Big Boss, güey. <risa> pues, que... Frota, güey. Protagonismo, güey. Su máximo esplendor. No es no. <risa> Buen trabajo el de Leo, muy paciente. Sí, eso sí, es, es un pop coach, pero brutal. Dentro de todo. No, no se va todavía. Lo no intentó, güey. Sí, sí lo vio venir, güey. Dijo, ¿sabes qué? Y aquí ya 75% de Leo, ¿eh? O sea, parpadea si te lo pierdes, como yo me lo perdí por estar viendo. ¡Qué palé! ¡Te murió! ¡Qué! ¿Qué? O sea, ¿Qué? Muy bien. Sí, sí, no, para, ah, no, para, 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 para. Entonces aquí ya porcentajes iguales, ¿eh? Relativamente iguales como debería ser. Solamente un poquito. ¡Ay, papá! El Spike ahorita en la casa del Spike. Una forma de ver cómo estos jugadores terminan aventándose este posible último stock de Ner en el lado de Winners para calificar a Top 8. Ok, está muy, está muy viable, está muy viable. La verdad es que Ridley, más bien el, el Ridley de Ner, no le da miedo estar en sus porcentajes. ¡Ah, caray! Pero espérate, ¿cómo vas a sobrevivir? Una propulsión a Jet And ultimately, MK Leo defeated Nair in a 3-0 sweep, moving into top 8 from winner's side with only one game dropped to Junko thus far. Now in winner's semi-finals, MK Leo's opponent would be a familiar one, someone who's beaten Leo before. Awaiting Leo in top 8 was Superdog. 
That name should ring many bells, as Superdog defeated MKLeo at a previous Mexican regional, which catapulted Superdog into the conversation for being a top player in Mexico, as well as an underrated rep of Mario. MKLeo also struggles against Mario matchup-wise, with players like Skinny the Pooh upsetting Leo's Joker in the past. Mario is definitely one of the characters that Leo is looking to cover with Rob. Leo had previously beaten his worst matchup for Rob as well as defeating an established top player in Mexico. But now those two things were combined in Superdog, as he was an established player who played one of MKLeo's biggest problem matchups. You could look at Superdog as the ultimate test for Leo's Rob, and now it was time to see how this set would pan out. And in yet another 3-0 sweep, MKLeo defeated Superdog 3-0, overcoming his demons and moving into winner's finals. Leo's opponent here would be Galehue, the best Kirby in the world who had just defeated Javi to make it there. I wouldn't go so far as to say that Kirby beats Rob, but it can certainly be an annoying matchup. It was now time to see just how far MKLeo was going to take this Rob. Haciéndonos. 
And in the end, MKLeo defeated Gyohyu 3 -0, moving into Grand Finals only dropping a single game. But Leo wouldn't be fighting Gyohyu again in Grands. That's because, after Leo had defeated Superdog, they had undergone a bit of a loser's run, getting all the way to Grand Finals by defeating Mao, Javi, and Gyohyu, all in 3-1 set victories, to enter Grands from loser's side. Leo may have defeated his demons once already, but they had come back to haunt him once again. It was now time to see if Leo could close out this tournament with Solo Rob. And in one final 3-0, MKLeo defeated Superdog yet again, becoming your champion of La Posada del Watiki 2023 as the first seed with Solo Rob, only dropping one game the entire tournament to Junko in Bayo Rob, debatably the robot's worst matchup. MKLeo is one of my favorite players of all time. Rob, however, is one of my least favorite characters of all time. However, the two came together at this tournament and seem like they're going to have a perfectly prosperous partnership moving forward. And you know what? If Rob can help the GOAT become the greatest in the world again, I think I can forgive Rob for all that he's done to me and many others. To wrap this up, I want to go back to the clip I started this video out with. In the GOAT Talks episode, MKLeo asked how anyone could lose to his Rob. Well, this past weekend, many of the top players in Mexico found out exactly how. And I think more players will be added to that list soon enough. That's going to be it for today's video. Before I go, shout out to my patrons, Seth Laster, Farscroll 333, as well as my tier 2 patrons, Iltis and Diamond Blaze. Additionally, shout out my YouTube members, Storm Troiper, Loco Soco, Diarrhea, Dichar Jr., Defective, Orangabang, and my tier 2 members, Mike G and Wu Tang Forever. Additionally, extra special shout out goes to my tier 3 patron, Ocean Man, who says, Mr. Mice is sorry for playing Min Min. If you want to support me using any of these methods, links to them are in the description below. Tomorrow, I'll be covering South America's Coville Gaming Championship 2023, but until then, I've been Mr. Mice, and thank you all so very much for watching.